Okay, yeah, uh, portfolio time. So what do they say? Uh, hello, I'm a 24 year old from France. Right now I am well outside of the 3D industry. My goal would be to enter the industry and the ultimate goal would be to work in film production for movies and such. Um, stuck in the process of trying to get into the industry. Doesn't want to give up on 3D. Looking for any advice. Um, yeah, cool. So let's, uh, let's look at their portfolio. So this person's actually gonna start doing a mentorship with me. So I thought it'd be kind of a good time to actually review her portfolio as well and talk about why um, I have picked the project that we're going to be doing eventually. But yeah, okay. So off the bat, the main thing I kind of want to bring up about the portfolio in general is it kind of feels a bit all over the place. It's like, say for example, this sort of stuff, if they want to work in film, I don't think this is really tailored to film. Like the, the work itself is like actually executed pretty decently, but it's, it's just not really what I would put into a film portfolio. If they do really want to keep like this sort of stuff, like, cause the work itself is not actually bad. It's just not tailored to what we do. So any of this sort of stuff, what I would probably do is actually I'll, I'll open my, uh, my, mine for a sec just to show you what I would probably do is so for example with my portfolio my portfolio opens to my professional work and then if people want to they can go to another tab and look at like the personal work stuff like that right so right off the bat what I would probably do if I was her is I would if you do really want to keep this sort of more fun uh whimsy sort of stuff because like the work itself is not actually that bad I would take this stuff and put it on a separate tab and just have like your film and then maybe like um, animation or something like that, right? So that's the first main issue I'd bring up with this portfolio is it just, it's a bit all over the place. It's not really directed to film work. So I would grab this one, this one, this one, this one here and put them on the other tab. I think the main issue in general with her work is it's just not, everything feels really toy and miniature. Wouldn't they click onto the second tab as well and judge it for the application as well? Not necessarily. If they want to dig to find that stuff, then I think that's okay. It's more like you present what you want to come with, like with intent, right? It's just like, say for example, I, you know, if I apply for like a job with my portfolio, right? If they want to, they can look at my tutorials and stuff, but they're not going to judge my experience based on these tutorials they will probably just look at the main thing, right? I don't know, I feel, okay, so I would agree with you if the work was bad. If the work was bad, then I feel it should go. But I don't think this work is bad. It's just not tailored towards what you wanna do. Cause this could still be useful if you wanna work in say feature animation or something like that, right? So the work is still valid. It's just not in a film direction. I would agree with you if it was bad though. If it was bad, it should go. So that's why I feel like you can still split it and keep it, but not put it at your main page, right? Love the fingerprints on the clay. Yeah, this is what I mean. Like that's kind of, that's kind of why I'm like, it's okay to keep it actually. Like same with the, uh, the gun from, um, what's it called? Arcane. The execution's pretty good. It, it's not a film asset, but it's still pretty good execution. So I feel like this is okay to keep. I would just put it on another tab that is separate to your film work application. But yeah, so this was kind of my main thought. I feel like when you first open her portfolio, it's just kind of like, I have no idea what this person wants to do. So that's why I would definitely split it up. Because say for example, if she wanted to, she could go work in game. I mean, not game, but she could go work in feature animation instead because she still has the work for it. I would just make sure it's separate. So she has a lot of vehicles. So the main issue with this is it's just like vehicle, 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 vehicle. So in our mentorship, we're actually going to be doing a robot and not something, not something from the real world either. We're going to be building a, like a, a futuristic robot from a, a concept because I feel like that is kind of the main thing that's missing with the portfolio in general is just it's a lot of vehicles. It's a lot of cars. I think you've definitely got more than enough cars. 
But yeah, I think the work as a whole is not bad. I would just be concerned about the density of this, like make sure the density is a bit more consistent between the asset. The topology itself is all fine. It just should be more of an even density between the windows. Showing the UVs and stuff would be good as well. I think the renders are all quite nice. This is also like another thing where I feel the work is executed well, but it just doesn't really fit the VFX pipeline. Well, the VFX, uh, you know, aesthetic. So this is also something I probably would add to the, the second group. Because yeah, there's nothing wrong with any of this. It's all modeled well. It's shaded well. The presentation's all nice. It's just simply, um, it's just not what we do. I wouldn't show a checker texture like this. I would actually like to see the numbers and see the direction they flow. Because with this, you can't really see if they're upside down or anything like that. And I also wouldn't want to check a texture in the background because it's just kind of like, oh my God, what are we looking at? But as a whole, I think this project is cool. It's just not, um, it's just not tailored to VFX. There's something about the Audi R8 which feels a bit off for me. I don't know if it's like their bevels are softer than they should be. The topology is clean. Yeah, the car just doesn't feel right. It's the proportions of the car. I mean, the Audi R8 isn't a big car to begin with. It might just be that they have a long lens, which is squashing the, uh, the, it could just, yeah, it could just sim simply be the long lens, which is, you know, flattening it. Yeah, there's something about the Audi R8, which I'm not really a fan of. I think, I think this car is better. But there's also something kind of toy-like about this as well. I don't know if it's just the depth of field, which is making everything look like a toy. Yeah, it might be, might be the, the choice of lens. Something, something about this just feels really toy-like, but it's hard to like put your finger on. But I think the model itself is actually quite good. It's definitely the depth of field. Yeah, I think that probably is it. Yeah, it's just, it feels very toy-like and it probably is like you're saying the depth of field. Because I don't think there's anything wrong with the model itself. But yeah, we need, we need to step away from the, uh, the toy aesthetic for sure. That's, that's pretty important. I don't think this is good though. I don't think the X-Wing is at the quality that is kind of needed for this sort of asset. I mean, I'm not looking at a real X-Wing in front of me, but I, mean, I, li I like that they've done this. This is cool. I like that they showed it actually functions. That's very cool. I don't think this hits the, the detail that's required on the actual real X-Wing. So I'm not sure if I would include the X-Wing. I do really like the execution of this stuff. I think this stuff is done very well. It's just, it's just not really what we are looking for. I think showing breakdowns is also cool. I think it's actually kind of cute. They used uh, like a ball of clay instead of a, uh, a sphere. I think that's actually kind of cool. I don't mind that actually. That's pretty, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure about this project here. It doesn't, I'm not really sure what it tries to achieve. I like that the UVs are all nice and organized. That's really cool. I like to see this sort of stuff here. So when we do left, center, right, the way it's usually done is it's, you only do left and right if it's symmetrical. I would argue all of this is center if it's not symmetrical then. So that's why, so this, this UV layout here kind of confused me a bit. So that when, we, when I say the only reason you should do something left, center, right is that you should be able to delete the right side, flip the left to the right, and it would match perfectly. So if anything was asymmetrical, that would be center. It wouldn't be left or right. So I, think, I don't think this makes sense, but we can, we can, I can talk to her about that sort of stuff when in our mentorship. But yeah, I feel like in, as a whole, her portfolio really leans towards like a very miniature aesthetic. And I think that's something we definitely need to move away from because we don't really, like it, it feels kind of more you're in line with wanting to do like animation instead of actually doing VFX based purely on looking at the portfolio. And I think that's what's confusing most about this portfolio is it just kind of, it feels a bit all over the place. Like, well, I think the work itself is like all executed well, it's just, it's not focused on VFX and that's what we need to kind of fix. This is kind of cool, I like this. It's pretty sick actually. But yeah, I think our work is good. We just need to focus. We need to redirect our attention on um, what we actually want to do. And if it is VFX, uh, we need to change the portfolio for sure. Oh, this is the reference. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I, like once again, like I feel it's just essentially the choice of lens um, for everything she's doing is making everything look like a miniature. So she literally chose something as reference, which was taken with a long lens, which is making everything look small. Yeah, I'm not really sure why you would pick this as a portfolio piece. It's an interesting scene, but I'm not really sure why you would pick this specifically. Is the ref not already a miniature? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's just a, a 
photo taken from a very long distance. I don't think this is a miniature. Yeah, she did match it, but this is what I mean. I think it's more the subject matter she chose. I wouldn't have done something like this for a portfolio piece. Like this, I think this is kind of the general theme is like, oh fuck, I closed it. <laughs> um, her work is all executed well. I just question the, uh, the direction of the folio. If they want to do VFX, right? Because like I said, if they want to do feature animation or something, I think their folio is pretty good for it. But for VFX, it's very different. We have to definitely move away from this. Um, we don't want to have a checker texture on top of a background checker texture as well, because it kind of defeats the whole purpose. And for sure, do the um, make sure it's got, you know, the direction of the actual UV flow with the numbers instead of just a gray default one. But yeah, I don't really know if there's too much really to, to talk about the, with this. I think, yeah, I think overall her work is, is good. It just needs to be, uh, it just needs more direction. Uh, it needs to be segmented, I feel, into like the VFX work and the, the, uh, the feature animation work, right? And if she's trying to get a job as a VFX artist, then the art station page needs to open to the VFX work. So I would put the animation stuff on a separate tab in the background, right? And for her VFX portfolio, the only things I would probably consider would probably be the Datsun, this one here, and this car here. I think only these two I would put in her VFX portfolio. And then we can add, for example, the, uh, the robot we're going to build to the VFX portfolio. So there'll be three portfolio pieces, two cars. Usually I would only have one car in a portfolio, but I think both of these are, are good enough. So these two cars and then the robot. And then you can probably put all of these extra other things in an animation tab separate to the VFX tab. Because the work is still good. It's just not really what, a, what we want to see.